Okay, guys, welcome back. This is Rich Lanzada signing in, and this is Dark Souls Part 17. Had a sudden change of scenery because we've been farming. Yeah, because we need that stuff. Right. What? Come on. Come on. Go away after so long, tree. They don't attack you? No, it's a tree, Lee. I want to kill Steve now. Why? Kill that tree you've cut loads of times. You wouldn't fight me. I'm so you need to kill. That's a frog thing. Yep. It's a flog. It's a flog. It's a frog stingray. Frog ray. Frog ray. Yes. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> look, another tree to kill. That help, don't they? It's a tree, Lee. What about hand axe? Is it a hand axe? Helpful? <laughs> Maybe I don't know. Ugh. I feel like I'm forgetting something very important about this area. It's gonna come back to bat me in your house. What was this coming out of? Oh yeah, that's what I forgot. Oh. These things. How slow and how powerful? Slow, quite powerful. Also not very easy to flinch. And also there's not much... Oh yeah, and they also do that. What's that do? Silences people. So they can't use magic? Yeah. Please, please. Oh yeah, and they slow you down when you go into the area of the spell quite an effective spell, although when they cast it, it's quite a good time to, you know, get some damages. <laughs> Unfortunately, they're quite good at reaction times. Yeah, I was far too close for that, Josh. Yeah, that's right. Go away, I'm trying to deal with your friends. Casting that, trying to kill him. Oh well. <laughs> oh, I'm so slow. <sighs> I'd be dead by this by now. What makes you say that? I'm not very good at the game. Really? Yeah, I'm not that good. Well, it's Dark Souls. It is quite difficult, my friend. I'll get used to it, I think. Yeah, you will. I had to adapt. Although these things do give you 600 souls, so it's quite a nice little effort. What's green blossom do? Increases your stamina regen. Ah. Trying to find where he is. Yeah, uh, there's something around here, I swear. Because I know there's something up those stairs, but there's a reason that made me explore this area more. And I swear it's not just for the killing of frogs. There's a lot of nice souls around here. 
Right, I'm gonna head for those. I use those cards to get gain souls and stuff. Yeah, they're quite actually a big boost as well. I use it instantly. I wait till I'm near a bonfire. Mm, that's a bad idea. No, and only when I like know how much souls I'm gonna get out of them. It's why it pays to have a book. So what I'm doing about the book? Lord, no, the book is actually only really like knowledge. It doesn't help you that much. We got to go and damage them in the game, yeah. Although, at this point, the way how the ground is will assist me. Why did I do that? We have no stamina now. Oh yeah. What? I'm in his zone. In his zone? In the zone of I can do nothing, essentially. Oh. I went for I the think kill. We, I think we could easily finish our mic up soon, you know. Probably. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, look at me! Hopefully that's the last one of those on this little journey. How much is it for your other character then to get the bomb level up? I'll, uh, I can show you in a bit. More for anyone, what does that do? It... I've, I've no said in the film. Boosts my poise. Uh, Skill with, like, great swords and stuff. Oh, I'm great, so I don't know. Eventually makes you better at wielding weapons. You see, I'm a lot quicker with the sword now. Oh, right, okay. The more poise you have, the better you are at sword play, I guess is the right sword word. Fight. Like, um. Melee! Yeah, but. That's the word. I wish I was at the point where I had the fast roll. I could really do with that ring you get. Quite a tree there. Yeah, trees. Annoyance. Could go for well, a... Another ragdoll's kind of weird in this game. I could go for a boss here, but it's difficult for melee. Hydra? No. Hydra's actually easy for melee. Is it? Yeah. What are you going to go for now, then? I could go for the butterfly. Butterfly? Yeah. There's a butterfly boss! Yeah. Hey, don't yeah. diss, man. It's very difficult for melee users. It really pays to be a strong magic user. But you gotta kill it, haven't you? It's a way how you get a way to upgrade stuff with a blacksmith and... Well, uh, I thought the game is to kill all demons. No. In fact, there's a lot of optional bosses in this game. Oh, right. Can all of them be optional? No. Some of them you have to do. Well, like, oh, so you had to kill Asylum even, didn't you? Yeah, to escape the asylum. What about Taurus? Taurus is another you have to do about because there's no good way to progress. No, okay. Oh yeah, because why? The traverse the white light disappears, doesn't it? Yeah. <coughs> well, I'll, I'll obviously try and kill the Hydra and the Butterfly after I've killed Steve. Steve? Oh, Havel. Oh, from Steve. Yeah, you're going to be at Havel for a while. Oh, yeah. Magic won't help you in Havel's fight. I don't even have magic. Yeah, I'm I have a sword that doesn't work. I'm warning you. He's a very difficult thing. Physical attacks do little. Magic does jack all. So what is the most best to use against him? You've just got to be good at dodging. I can dodge. I just can't dodge his overhead swing. Yeah, for that, it's just get as far away from him as you can. Okay guys, this is the end of Dark Souls Great. Part 17. <laughs> this is Rick Slider Zeta signing out.